And also, you know, there's another big game going on. We're going down to the 3A Division One ranks. They're calling it the Swamp Bowl this year. East Chambers <laughs> taking on Anawak. The Swamp Bowl it is. East Chambers and Anawak. You know these Buccaneers have been pretty good. We're at Kyle Whitefield. Jaden Thibodeau is going to start things off. The running back, not easy to bring down. A big chunk of yards here. He finally gets dragged down by the jersey, but not before picking up a nice first down. Now the quarterback, a guy whose name you might know, Jacoby Peralt. Man, has he been an all-star. He's looking for his receiver, Darius Green. He's got him along the sideline. It's actually in the corner of the end zone. Go ahead and count that one for a touchdown. Now Anoak going on offense. Another big name, Landon Corbett. Tell you what, this guy is not someone you want to be in front of when he's no. running the ball. Here he comes around the outside, and <laughs> yes, a good hit, but he is not going I to go down. I sorry for the guy yeah, on the sideline just right took a hit. Get out of the way when Landon Corbett is coming. Now we got a Brady Barrier, the quarterback. He's looking for his receiver, Quandre Coates. He's got him. Touchdown for Anoak. Back and forth a little bit in the first half. It was 31 to 13 at halftime, but we go to the final, 38 to 45 to 20. Panthers. That's right. They, yeah, roll. they, they added on some extra points there, and this is a huge win from for Anoak to knock off East Chambers. You know, Coach Greg Neese, when he took over the program about three years ago, he said. His goal is to beat East Chambers, you know, to change things up, change that, you know, mentality that they could not beat East Chambers. Anna White got it done tonight and standing by live out there at Kyle White Stadium. It was our very own Sapphire Cervantes. You know, we go from covering the ALDS yesterday in Houston. She's just down Getting the road the best from of Minute Maid. Worlds. She's at Anawak tonight for the Swamp Bowl and uh, got to be happy out there for those Panthers. Well, yeah, Ashley, there's no place I'd rather be than right here, right now, with head coach Greg Neese of the Anahuac Panthers. And congratulations on the win, 45-20. I mean, there's a lot of emotions coming through this game, rivalry, Swamp Bowl. And, I mean, that first touchdown that East Chambers got was off a penalty off you guys. So how did you just keep that level head and make sure you came back right at them? Well, we preached all week about keeping our composure, and we lost our composure early. So that was very frustrating as a head coach. And one of our better players and really an all district player. And uh, so, you know, I had to get him out of the game. And I think that sent a message to everybody else to keep our composure. And, and we did, and you know, they scored. They got the best player in the district, in my opinion, uh, Jacoby, I and mean, he's amazing. And uh, it was just a great night for the Panthers all the way around, offense, defense, special teams. We really played our best game of the year. I mean, here in this, you know, in this level, they play both sides of the ball. So you saw number 11, he actually, yes. Draw, he fumbled. There was a fumble in the game, and then he had to go right back and play defense. And right. so just on that, how do you tell the guys to just switch their attitude? Because obviously he was upset, but he had to go right back out there and play defense. Right. Well, he's young. He's a sophomore, and he's, a, he's an outstanding wide receiver and a very good DB. And uh, you can't really tell him that they don't switch over right now. They're, they're so young, and, you know, he's 15 years old. And uh, we had to calm him down a little bit. The players had to calm him down, but, uh, you know, you got to live to play the next down. And we talk about, you know, you can't let the good play uh, affect your next play. You can't have a bad play affect your next play. You just have to move on to the next play. And and we did, and we focused in. And um, I just thought our team really rallied behind each other during the good and the bad during the game. And it was a great, great night for us. And, man, it was, a, it was great to beat those guys. You know, the crowd that was amazing. You had packed stands. It was homecoming. So, obviously, a lot to celebrate now before you have to – you know, turn around so you got get the weekend to relax. So I hope you take that and right. you know enjoy yourself. But until next time, Coach, we'll say goodbye. From now for 49 Sports Blitz, I'm Safra Cervantes in Anahuac.